everybody and welcome to The Couch Chronicles, your inside connection to the couch of a therapist's office without paying a single dime. Don't let my positive demeanor fool you because as it turns out, I'm actually freaking out inside because I have to fly in like an hour and a half or something and I don't want to fly. So I figured in honor of me flying that I would share some travel tips on how to have less anxiety when, you know, flying, driving by car, train, whatever, you know, mode of transportation works best for you. So I'll just get right into it. And without further ado, here are some of my tips. So the first tip that you need to know is to make sure that you have a bag packed for helping you combat anxiety. So for example, this is what I pack in my bag. Laptop, coloring book, okay, like four coloring books, colored pencils, a word search book, my pillow pet, my headphones, and some candy. Okay, like a lot of candy. My husband. Do I really have to do this? And my dog. Once you do that, and once you have all of those put together in your bag, then you want to make sure that you're ready for your second tip, which make is... Now that you've packed your bag and you're ready to get on the plane, here are some tips for you uh, once you're on the plane and you're in a state of panic. Focus on your breathing. Make sure you take long breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. It's in through your nose, out through your mouth? Cool. And you really, really, really focus on not hyperventilating. Allow yourself to just be in that moment and not stress. Despite the fact that you're on a giant metal tube flying through the air at like a bajillion miles an hour and you could definitely crash. I'm probably not helping at all. Surely not helping myself, that's for sure. Tip three is wear something comfortable that makes you feel good. My go-to attire for plane travel is definitely leggings and a t-shirt because Look, you're gonna come out smelling like plane anyways. You're probably gonna be really tired and gross. And if you wanna sleep, you don't wanna be sleeping in jeans and a fancy top. Just, just be comfortable. Wear your PJs. TSA's not gonna judge you. And if they do, well then they're just jealous that they don't get to wear PJs to work. And that's not, that's not your fault. They're just, they hate you cause they ain't you. And that's fine. So hold that one close to your heart and everything will be great. <laughs> what are other tips, Brian? Do you have any tips for flying? Sleeping? Tip four would be, when in doubt, sleep. If you think that you're gonna freak out, drug yourself. I probably shouldn't promote drugging. My sister told me that that's something I should not do. But if you know for a fact that you'll panic too much while traveling, take a Benadryl if that makes you tired, or get a sleep aid. Find a way to make yourself sleep through the trip so that way you fall asleep when you get on the plane and you wake up at your destination and you miss all the terrible anxiety that comes with it. Try to avoid catastrophizing, as hard as it may be. Even if in that moment you feel like that plane's gonna crash or you're gonna get sick in the car or you know the world is coming to an end, remind yourself, how many times has this happened? How many times have I been harmed or you know hurt while I'm traveling? And just try to keep pumping that into your brain and just telling yourself, okay, I've got this, I can handle this, I will make it out the other side. Try to use positive self-talk, you know, tell yourself everything's gonna be fine, you've got this, you can handle this. Um, I've traveled by plane now in the past eight months, probably three or four times, and every time I hate getting on that plane. I hate taking off, and I usually sit in the plane with my eyes closed, bouncing all over the place, and breathing, and quietly telling myself, Chelsea, you got this, because you're awesome, and you won't die today. You know what they say, they don't say anything, actually. I don't know where I was going with that. <sighs> Lastly, and I'm gonna consider this a pro tip, mind you, uh, don't watch plane disaster videos the night before you fly, because that doesn't help. That's, that hasn't helped anybody in the history of time, okay? And not that I would know from personal experience. Actually, I did that last night, so. Oops. So those are my travel tips. I hope they helped. I hope that you take something from it and I hope that you find something that helps you when you travel. All right guys, well I'm gonna go because uh, we, gotta, we gotta get to the airport, but I hope that if you're traveling that this has been kinda helpful and I promise I'll do a second video when I'm not rushed and uh, all that. So hopefully this has helped you and uh, yeah. All right, well, until next time, Internet.
All right, I'll be right back. I'm running away. I'll be back. Bye. Bye.